Everybody's so proud that we're here. So we seem to get used to the local uh, music, parent, culture. Everybody's early. <laughs> I thought Island time was something different. Yeah, I thought. Wrong Island, I guess. Wrong Island. Not on a lot of them, man. The traffic we have, everyone's like, I got to get to a half hour early. So um, let me just address the bag real quick. I, I didn't see you guys this year. It's kind of unusual. But um, be ready because I know you have a, an arrangement planned out. But it's very likely to, to change a little bit as far as who sold and all that to make it expand it here. So just keep your heads up, watch this to the dreamers, and, uh, and open your ears. Right? Cool. So my name is Dean Taub, and I'm the director of the jazz program here at PMI. And uh, I'll do my commercial off the bat. I also direct the, the school year jazz program for the Youth Symphony. We have we're hoping, we're hoping to have three classes next year. Beginning improv group, uh, intermediate contemporary ensemble, and an advanced contemporary ensemble. And those meet on Saturdays during the school year. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to contact me. We've already discussed it. I know, and also for students, if you want to ask a student about it, Kamika plays in the combo, and I think we'll be seeing Disney next year. Um, but email me if you have any questions or call me or whatever because we haven't finalized anything so there's no registration form available yet um, so that was <clears throat> my only uh, comment about that we've had a really a, a wonderful week because of our time constraints we're going to play three of three pieces that we've worked on during the week uh, we've certainly worked on more than that and I think almost more importantly we talked a lot with the students about how they practice, how they listen to music, um, how they assess their own progress, and um, we, we had a lot of fun. Uh, that's Abe Legrimus and that's Steve Tressler, and they were the lead uh, instructors with both groups, but also I was here every day, and a saxophonist from, from Kaneohe named Alan Wan, who just moved back from New York, also joined us for three of the sessions and that was that was a lot of fun so all the students got a chance to work with all the teachers that was i think really important to me and um, it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun um, i'll introduce the, the two our two lead teachers uh, steve tressler is with us from seattle he's been here just one other time but i feel like i i know you so well steve <laughs> that's a, I think that's part of the function of playing improvised music. You get to know each other so well, so quickly, because you're, you're interacting in, a, in such a profound way. Um, and um, Steve, we're lucky to have Steve back this year, and also joining him is David Agrimus, who's from my papa who originally lives in Los Angeles now, wonderful, both wonderful musicians and educators. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm actually not going to be, I'll just be hanging out and enjoying the concert also. Uh, but if you have any right. questions, come talk to me or email me or text me or whatever. Um, I'm always happy to talk about what's going on. Um, yeah, so I'll turn it over to Abe who will be directing great. for the concert. Thank you, Dean. Thanks. Thanks, Dean. Well, I had a great um, week working with these kids. Um, I think you're in for a treat. I think we uh, have a short but wonderful program for you guys to, to enjoy. Um, it's been great. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to start with a song called Groove Merchant. Um, we're only going to play, we're, we're, we're playing three songs, um, but it was fun throughout the, throughout the week. We got a chance to play a lot of you know, different styles you know, within the jazz uh, genre. Um, this one is a fun shuffle piece called Groove Merchant, and we're going to feature a handful of the students. So watch me, I might change things up. Nothing's set in stone, and that's jazz. Okay? <laughs> you might have uh, Steve uh, play, play on this one as well. Okay? Thank you. 
Improvisation from many different perspectives. So that was, we'd been working on some live compositions. So that was a piece we came up with on the spot. And I was using a language called sound painting, which is as a series of signs and gestures. Uh, I created it in the 70s. Walter Thompson called it a sign language for live composition. So I give some signs that give them instructions about what to play, but there's also some freedom about some musical decisions. So we could have a entire group jam without having anything predetermined about like what song we're playing and have it have some some kind of structure without it turning into total chaos right away unless we unless we go in that direction so we're experimenting some extended techniques and just sort of different ways of accompanying and listening to each other um, so then that's always a just total different adventure in time I play with a group there's some groups all over the, the world that work with this language sound painting it's multidisciplinary there's over 1500 signs and they mean something specific for visual artists and dancers and actors and you can get a bunch of people together from different disciplines that have been doing some of that online with people all over the world. It's pretty wild, but it also works as a good icebreaker, especially maybe for some folks who are used to following a conductor. You know, so I can go and do this with a symphony orchestra. You know, if I, and if I just go to the second violins and say, hey, play a solo for everybody, you know, sometimes that's a non-starter. But we, we can work with, you know, playing some things as a group and giving some, some instructions and, um, yeah, it's been fun. These, these are all good, good, uh, good sports. Trying something likely to. Except Mark was here last time. We did this, Mark. Yeah. Mark was a, a veteran. So now for something completely different. Time to get, time to get funky. We're gonna get funky. The last tune we're gonna play is a song called it's "The Kitchen." The kitchen. The chicken. The chicken. What? The, what? <laughs> the chicken. Someone <laughs> <else. laughs> so who's gonna feature? Desi on saxophone here, Eat on, on guitar, uh, Kavika back there on drums, and Kai on bass. This, one, this uh, version is, was made famous by a bass player named Jocko Pastorius, so we're going to start off with the bass player that's over there. Watch me, we're, we'll, we'll uh, make some changes. For this okay. One.
awesome. Great, great job, you guys. That was a lot of fun. I hope you folks enjoyed their performance today. Thank you for providing your students this opportunity and for providing us this opportunity to work with them. It was, it was a fun weekend. I think a lot of people made new friends and learned a, a lot of new things. So again, thank you. Thank you very much for, for your support. We really appreciate it. Everybody be safe and take care. Thank you. Great job.